I saw that the art can be a therapy as well, that we can help change the world. And that is the most important thing about the museum, about the theater, everything. We are here to help people reflect, to see themselves, to see the world, to see society. My name is Chiara Hooks. I am Brazilian and German. I am graduated in Museum Studies by the Federal University of Bahia in Brazil. And I have been working in the last few years as an art curator. And I moved here to Ireland two years ago. And I was expecting to find a huge Brazilian artistic community already, as we do have a lot of Brazilians over here. But I found individuals that just like me wanted to do something but you didn't have the strength to do something big. So I decided to found a group called Art Multi Brazil and in the last few years I have been gathering everybody in the arts that I know, that I get to know and to help us make projects together. So by now we have 60 people in the group. We have actors, we have dancers, we have photographers, a little bit of everything, people from marketing as well. Uh, at the moment, we have one exhibition that will be on a hair salon this Sunday. And this year it's the third exhibition that we are making. So I'm very proud of how things are going, how the group is growing. In Ireland, we are still getting to know. I think there is much that we need to learn about how things work over here. And, but it's very interesting every time we make something, people really like the Brazilian art and we are getting more Irish people involved. We have an Irish uh, painter that will be in this exhibition with us. I always loved the arts, so I was always involved with art since I was a little kid. And always in theater pieces and everything. By the time that I was growing up, I was like, okay, I have to decide what I want to do for my life. And I saw that I really loved arts and history. And then I found this course that was museum studies. And that's what I decided to do. I saw that I really love what I was studying and getting involved with the arts, learning history of art. It was always very interesting. I always felt at home doing that. So I saw that that's what I wanted to do for life. In Brazil, in the first years, as a, in, an intern and even as a professional, I worked in museums. So I worked in different sectors. I was tour guide and I worked with documentation, registering the pieces, preparing exhibitions. And I saw that the events itself is the thing that I love the most. Especially when you make an exhibition that is related to some social thing that we need to treat with society, we need to deal with society. And when you do an event that is there to support people, especially poor people that needed to learn something that they could use as a way of making money. I saw that that was something that we can do to change the world as well, to help people. I always like it to help people, and, but I saw that the art can be a therapy as well, that we can help change the world. And that is the most important thing about the museum, about the theater, everything. We are here to help people reflect, to see themselves, to see the world, to see society. And this is especially the thing that I look for when I make an exhibition. I really want to help people, the artists themselves, to see sometimes their own difficulties. Sometimes they have a lot of capacity, but they don't believe in themselves. So more than helping them with the work, you have to help themselves to pass that fear and also to help people see the world from another perspective, to see themselves from another perspective. I think that this is what the arts are for. And the last exhibition we had in June, it was about the feelings that we went through the lockdown. We put all the fears, everything that we went through into that exhibition, so it was a therapy for ourselves. I, I think we are here to support each other. That's what the arts are for, and that's what I like to do. I think we need a techno art revolution. So we are people that are living on the 21st century. So we don't have to abandon the traditional ways. But I think in order to survive on the 21st century, we need to adapt the way we communicate. We need to improve the way we communicate with the public. For exhibitions in general, I think that we need this because sometimes the thing is interesting, but the way that we talk is consider it as boring or non-interesting for the people that doesn't know the arts. So I believe there is a gap 
sometimes between the art and the public that we need to try to fill somehow. I think for the artists it's time for innovate. We have to try to find new techniques. So I think it's time not to abandon, as I say, the past, what do we do, but try to find new ways to make it more adapted to the 21st century, to the kids that we have now. And also, I would say for the public, we do love arts, we love books, we love movies, we love music. So if you have any friends that is an artist, support their work as well, because we all need to hear and need to have people there for us.